Welcome or welcome back at Cisco. In this lesson, we're going to talk about locating points using the weighted average. And you notice here, uh, I'm going to start with start with weighted average on a number line. And we have two points, A and B, uh, with the these coordinates and this weight. So how do we get the point P that represent the average of points a and B, and uh, we need to use this formula. Now, very important, W, the weight, has to be uh, greater or equal to 1. So let's see this first example I have here. Find the coordinate of point P that represent the weighted average of points C and D with weight 1 and 3, respectively. So let's take a look. Point C is located at negative 3. Point D is located at 2. Uh, the weight of point C is 1. And the weight of point two, uh, D, I'm sorry, it's 3. And in fact, I can really write equal here. So I'm going to use the formula I just mentioned. So we're going to have W sub 1 times x1 plus W sub 2 times x2 over W1 plus W2. So what do we get in this case? We get 1 times negative 3 plus uh, w2 it's 3 3 times 2 and over w1 is 1 and w2 it's 3 and now we just have to simplify this expression so you have 1 times negative 3 that is negative 3 plus 3 times 2 it's 6 over 1 plus 3 is 4 we can do that and we have negative 3 plus 6 is 3 3 over 4 that's the coordinate of point p point p is at 3 over 4 somewhere right here which makes sense one because uh, if you take a look the weight of point d is larger is 3 than the weight of point c 1 so this point p should be closer to point D. That is a good way to check it. Very similar you will do if you have three points. In this case, you see A, B, and C. A has the coordinate X1 and weight W1, B, X2 and the weight W2, and C, X3 and the weight W3. You see the formula is right here. So let's see an example. Uh, find the coordinate of point P that represents the weighted average of point F, D, and E with weights 3, 2, and 1, respectively. So uh, let's take a look. Point F is located at negative 1, uh, and the weight of that point is 3. Point D, the second one in the list, it is located at 2 and he has a weight of 2 and point E the last one is located at 6 and he has a weight of 1 okay so that allows us now to use the formula I just mentioned here. So let's see what we get. W1 times X1. So that be that will be 3 times negative 1 plus W2 times X2. So we finish with this one. Uh, we're moving to this one. W2 times X2. So that will be 2 times 2 plus W3 times x3 so that will be uh, 1 times 6 so we don't really need the parentheses but I just put them for you to see how I plug these W's and X's 
in fact four x's and now here uh, the denominator it's going to be 3 plus 2 plus 1 so let's see what we get uh, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 2 times 2 is 4 1 times 6 is 6 over 3 plus 2 plus 1 that will be 6 and then we have negative 3 plus 4 that is 1 plus 6 it's 7 7 over 6 so the coordinate of point P will be 7 over 6 which is kind of one and something somewhere uh, right here that will be the point P what you notice is closer to point F and you notice F has a weight of 3 yeah that makes sense so let's move to the next uh, thing uh, very similar find the coin of points p that represent the weighted average of point f d and e if point d weight weights three times as much as point f and point uh, e weights twice as point f so let's start with f f is at negative three and he has a weight of one uh, then point D is located at negative 1 and he has a weight of 3 times 3. And the last one, E, is located at 9 and the weight of that point is twice, that means 2 times then the weight of f so the same formula uh, w1 times x1 plus w2 times x2 plus w3 times x3 over w1 plus w2 plus w3 so let's see what we get we get 1 times negative 3 plus 3 times negative 1 plus 2 times 9 and the denominator is going to be 1 plus 3 plus 2 so let's simplify this expression 1 times negative 3 negative 3 3 times negative 1 negative 3 2 times 9, 18. And then we have 1 plus 3 plus 2, that's is 6. And then we have negative 3 minus 3, that is negative 6, plus 18, that is 12. 12 over 6, that will be 2. So the point P, it's located at 2, somewhere here. You notice again it's closer to point D. Why? Because the weight of point D is three times as point as much as point F. My next part of the lesson will be about locating points uh, using the weighted average on the coordinate plane. And you notice the formula is very similar with just the difference we have to use it twice why because we have an x and a y coordinate so rather that the math will be the same so let's see an example find the coordinate of point p that represents the weighted average of point a and b if the point b weights twice as much as point a so uh, let's take a look point a is located at uh, negative 4 and 1 and the weight will be 1 the point B is located at 8 and negative 2 and he has a weight of 2 because he says twice as much as point A so we're gonna start to the x coordinate of point P um, I can really call it x sub v 
and that will be w1 times the x coordinate of point a so x a y a x b y b so let me write that here the x coordinate of point p will be w1 times x a plus w2 times x b over w1 plus w2 so you see the same formula like the in the previous example uh, so in this case here we're going to have 1 times negative 4 uh, plus and now we're going to have 2 times 8 and you know what let me let me move a little bit down so we can have a little bit more space so we have x p x up p so it's going to be one more time w1 times negative 4 plus w2 2 times 8 the x coordinate of point b and now w1 plus w2 1 plus 2 so we have here 1 times negative 4 negative 4 plus 2 times 8 is 16 over 3 so we can simplify negative 4 plus 16 that will be uh, 12 over 3 that will be 4 so we know already the x coordinate of 4 so I'll, that will be the point p but let's check it if the y coordinate will be negative 1 if the math will give us that value so y sub p what will be the formula the same like x sub p the only difference use the y coordinate so w1 times x y i'm sorry a plus w2 times y sub b over w1 plus w2 so let's see what we get we get 1 times 1 right w1 times y sub a plus w2 times yb so that will be 2 times negative 2 over w1 which is 1 plus w2 which is 2 so we're gonna get here 1 times 1 is 1 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 over 1 plus 2 is 3 1 minus negative 4 is negative 3 over 3 which is negative 1 so ladies and gentlemen yes we got the y corner of point p as being 1 yes the point p is located at uh, 4 and negative 1 very similar if you have three points you notice here we have three points a b and c um, and uh, point uh, b weights twice as much as point a and point c weights weight three times as much as point a so let's first of all identify the points so a is located at negative three and two and the weight of point A based on this problem um, is 1. So let's mark here X, A and Y, A just to be sure. Point B is located at 6 and 4. And it has a weight of 2. Because you have this twice as much as point A. And C, the last point, is located at 5 and negative 2. And 
the weight will be 3 and by the way here I forgot to put x sub b y sub b and here x sub c y sub c so the formula is going to be the same so we have the x coordinate of point p the only difference we're going to have three terms for the numerator and denominator so we're going to have w1 times xa plus w2 times xb plus w3 3 times xc over w1 plus w2 plus w3 so that will be so again this is w1 here uh, we'll, have, we'll have 1 times xa is negative 3 plus w2 2 times xb 6 2 times 6 and the last term so this is 6 w3 3 times x e 5 and then we have w1 plus w2 plus w3 1 plus 2 plus 3 so let's see what we get now we get 1 times negative 3 that is negative 3 2 times 6 is 12 and 3 times 5 is 15 and the denominator 1 plus 2 plus 3 it's 6 so we're going to have negative 3 plus 12 and that is 9 9 plus 15 that is 24 over 6 so we have an uh, x coordinate of 4 so the x coordinate of point P is somewhere here at 4 and now we're going to find the y coordinate we have no chance we have to find it this using the same method so y sub p will be y sub p will be uh, w1 times ya plus w2 times yb plus w3 times yc over w1 plus w2 plus w3 so in this case uh, we have w1 it's 1 and y sub a it's 2 plus w2 it's 2 and the y coordinate of point p is 4 and w3 it's 3 and the y coordinate of point c is negative 2 and again the denominator 1 plus 2 plus 3 so let's see if we simplify what we get we have 1 times 2 that is 2 2 times 4 is 8 and 3 times 2 is negative 3 times negative 2 in fact is negative 6 or so minus 6 over 1 plus 2 plus 3 that will be uh, 6 so we have here 2 plus 8 is 10 minus 6 is um, 4 4 over 6 and that will be 2 over 8 3. So the coordinates of point P will be um, 4 and 2 over 3. So 4 and 2 over 3. Somewhere here is the point P. Uh, let's see if it does make sense. You notice the weight of point C is 3. Okay, so it's pretty close to C, that closer to C than B and a so i think that is a reasonable answer and uh, that's it um, if you enjoyed this lesson don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you